All right, guys. So, right. So, there are certain built-in functions in SQL. And uh, among all those built-in functions, there are certain functions which are absolutely related to strings only. Strings means alphabets. Let's let's keep it as simple as that. Something like first name, last name. Now, there are certain built-in functions like uh, length, concat, and uh, we have uh, lower function, upper function, trim, apps, and all these kind of functions are there, which are for strings that is which are for textual data let's take it like that we'll be able to do a lot of things on a certain column based on these functions right and uh, we'll definitely discuss all these functions one by one so let's start with something which is very basic the basic functions being upper and lower case functions now upper and lower case functions upper function for example converts a text which is in lower case or a mixture of upper and lower case for example your name is written as prateek and p is capital so prateek if i apply the upper function the entire name prateek uh, that uh, text prateek can be converted into the capital of uh, capital letter of each and every alphabet over there similarly lower does the vice versa right the syntax is pretty simple the syntax is not that difficult it's just that we need to start by using the upper function over here select upper function once you select the upper function inside the parenthesis you have to give the name of that particular column which you want to convert from lowercase to uppercase or a mixture of upper and lowercase to entirely into uppercases and then of course and close your sql query by giving the table name where you want that column to be similarly for lowercase again use the lowercase function over here instead of uppercase we can use the lowercase function lowercase parenthesis column name once we're done with this, end the query by giving the table name over there and then finally ending the query with a colon, right? So this is how upper and lowercase function works. Let's see how the function works in SQL. All right, guys, so I'll use this database called Sakila. I've already run that particular query and I hope I'm in that. Uh, one only yes i am there in that one only and i'll just uh, use a different table let's say select star from add city let's say let's go with this one let's see what this data has got okay this data consists of district postal code is there phone code which is completely numeric one and i think there's something called as address over here address is a mixture of numerical data type and the text data type let's see our upper function works over there or not now what i want is let's say select star and then you use the upper function here in the upper function what we do is we input the column name which is address as address and uh, from at underscore city the name of the table we run this and we have another address column over here where we can see that this address column now has all the alphabets in fact why to select the entire thing i'll just do one thing we'll just go for address right and we'll okay so this was my original address and this is my the address where i have put in the alphabets from lowercase into the uppercase as you can see there is a mixture of uppercase and lowercase over here what i've done is i have converted each and every alphabet over here into its corresponding uppercase similarly when it goes to select address in fact why to go for address now let me go for something else which is an uppercase now so that uh, i can convert this into lowercase so let's start from add underscore city colon we get the entire data and now we can see that okay here there is no particular column which is having entirely of uppercase so let me do one thing i'll go for the different column actor names let me go for this thing i hopefully you'll get lucky here now if we run this okay there is nothing in this we go further up we go for actors let's say actor we check out this particular table and this particular table has the first name as you know in the uppercase which is first name and last name both are uppercase now what we can go for is we can go for select let's say first underscore name comma we go for lower and we go for first name right and from actor we run this query we'll have we would have created another one of course we have to give an alias to this particular column as first name right and then if we run this this will be coming as another first name column over here now whichever way you want to drop you can actually drop the column out okay so this is how we can use the upper and the lower function guys